By the end of this video, you're going to learn everything that you need to learn about how to start email marketing, email marketing for beginners. Now, we're not going to reinvent the wheel. We're going to do the same thing as the top affiliates in the industry are doing. There is no plug in this video for you to purchase my video and so forth. I don't have a course for $1,000 for you to purchase. This is absolutely free of charge. All I like you to do is subscribe, drop a like, and make sure to share this video. Here's what you need to do. Welcome to this training. This is Mark Daniels. Now we're going to talk about how to start email marketing, email marketing tutorial for beginners. Now, when I say how to start email marketing, I'm actually talking about even if you've never done email marketing, even if you're in the affiliate marketing space, it really doesn't matter. This is applies for everything. If you want to succeed, then this is for you. So let's go ahead and get started here. There are, in case you are, and I'm assuming that you want to succeed in email marketing, and I'm not talking about email marketing as making money from email marketing. I'm talking about, you know, how to build your business, utilizing email marketing to expand your own business. Because every single top affiliate or top online marketer that's exactly what they do. So there are two things are very important for you to understand. This one is a must know. Now, there are some steps here that I'm going to go over. We have to understand why email list is so important. And if you understand that, you are probably about 98% ahead of all affiliate marketers or online marketers. And I'm talking about beginners, obviously. There are a lot of people that obtain their own leads through platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and so forth. What I'm about to say is so important. These platforms, you do not own them. Even if you are getting some good leads, I do not recommend it to be the major or the number one thing for you to obtain leads. The reason is simple. You don't own them. That means they can change the algorithm or they can just shut down your own account. I have seen it so many times with the people that I have coached before. You want something that you own when you are building or if you build your own email list, nobody can take that away from you. You have it, you own it, you can do whatever you want with it, and you can sell products. So if you understand that, I'm going to go ahead and click this, that you did understand that. And if you did understand this point, then you are ahead of a lot of people. The number one objective for you as a, an online marketer is to build an email list. You can make tremendous amount of money and be very successful in what you do if you build an email list that really makes sense. Now, the second components of this is you must have the correct autoresponder software. I have said it before, but lots of people still not really getting it. And I have seen it so many times where a lot of people that try so hard to build an online business and they start the email list, but they are using the wrong software. 98% of all autoresponder, I'm talking about email autoresponders, they are not affiliate friendly. I dig through a whole lot of them and they tell you that, but most people don't have the time to do so. So you can look in the comment area below. I do have the one that I recommend for you to use. These the one that I have is affiliate friendly. I even contact them and they said yes. So the reason for that is I have seen some people spend a lot of time building their own email list and then come to find out, well, they can't use it because they shut down their own account and they cannot access anything. Let's go to number three. You must have a niche. And I'm talking before you even attend attempt to do anything as far as building your own email list, you should have those three. And the one that I'm talking about right here must have a niche or sub niche. I got you covered here. You don't, in case you don't have a niche or sub niche, or maybe you don't have the correct one. This is a video that I made. It tells you exactly what you need to do and 
on top of that you'll be able to download 27 sub niches that you can use for free again you can download 27 already made i made them for you sub niches and niches in different category the reason for that is so important is because if you start building your own list and you don't know what your niche is for example health and fitness that's where you need to obtain your email list for people that are interested in health and fitness so you can sell them multiple products this is how you succeed okay let's go ahead and go to number two the strategy that i'm gonna explain to you is gonna be about lead magnet strategy it has steps and these are the steps there are four steps in here the first one is i'm going to show you how to get traffic within 24 hours i just want to say something here because i get a lot of questions people want to advertise on facebook google and so forth and this is a waste of time this is not the time for you to do that at this point if you are a beginner after the product has proven itself you can do so so what you need to do first is get a traffic which is 24 hour traffic you need to get started asap very quickly i'm gonna go ahead and tell you which one to use you have to understand that the traffic you have to obtain it it's not expensive as a matter of the least expensive one because a lot of people confuse time with money time is much more important than money by far because time you can never get it back but money you can the second thing i'm going to show you the exchange method of how to obtain email from your prospects i'm going to go ahead and show you that in just a, a little bit number three is autoresponder process how does it work how does it flow basically and how you should have it set up this is number three number four email type what kind of email type you are going to send to your prospect there are two ways one of them if you already have a, a product to sell and the other one if you don't have a product you can look at the links in the description to learn more so you need to understand the type of email that you need to send to your prospects like i mentioned lead magnet strategy how does that thing work obviously you're gonna get traffic where do you get the traffic i do have a link in there and i think i do have a discount coupon you can use it or you can go to the udemy and then you can use them i think they don't offer the coupon so it depends on you you can do whatever you want to now the second thing is this is where the exchange thing that i told you about you have to give something away and i'm talking about whether you do have a product that you want to sell or maybe you don't have a product in case you do have a product there are resources and i've showed you in one of the videos that i had which is clickbank for beginners how to do all that stuff so i'm not going to repeat it just go ahead and watch that now what what happens here this is a free gift it's a lead magnet basically now what can you do with that now of course there are some resources in case you are using clickbank usually they have resources like a free book or free training or a free course things like that so these are the things that they have you can you can deliver an ebook in pdf you can do some training not you but you can get some training from whatever you're selling or you can do your own training you can do a webinar because a lot of these affiliates like clickbank they do have some webinars you can also say there is a course and give a free course whether it's someone else that made it or or you made it yourself like clickbank they do have some resource page they have a resource page that have maybe a free course free training or something like a teaser for somebody to be interested to opt in the idea is what is you give them something this is the exchange area i give you one of these you give me what you give me your email address and the email address goes into the autoresponder that i have in the link below or you can use yours but make sure they are affiliate friendly there's not a whole lot of them and easy to use at the same time what i did here is just like i put x email list because in case you do not have a product it's okay many of the people that i have coached they started without a product and i showed them how to do it but here you have to of course put the name of the email list for example no product list about you know fitness or what have you so you'll know what it is 
Okay, I decided to go ahead and give you a bonus here because this is going to be very important to your success to show you exactly how important email marketing is if you do it right. Here's it says, and I want you to understand it very, very well because if you do, then you'll know exactly the mindset that you should have. People, when they wake up, the first thing we're talking about email versus social media, first check of the day. In other words, when somebody wakes up, what do they do first? What do they check first? Only 5% check the news. 20% they do some kind of research. And then 3% they check their company internet. And then 14% they go to social media. Now, 58% check their email. Now, you do, that's almost 60%. So, email, if you understand that email automation and email marketing is the number one and it's the least expensive thing and the least complicated one if you know how to do it right and i'm going to show you how to do it right let's go ahead and take a look at number three social media versus email marketing again this is from opt-in monster let's go ahead and take a look a, a little bit here to find out email versus social media engagement that means you are engaging in something 58 percent point 58 percent they engage in social media 22.86 email open rate in other words they open their email 22 percent compare that with 0.58 and then click through rate email click through rate is 3.71 uh, these are just like basically i get a lot higher than that but these are just like the averages that they got in their surveys and their research 3.7 that means they click on something inside your email that you sent to them go and take a look at number three i just want you to understand this and this is very very crucial maybe i should have put it in red and put some other stuff on it but there are two types of email marketing and you need to understand these two types number one there are affiliate email marketing affiliate email marketing is totally different a lot of people fail in affiliate marketing because they they don't understand that and nobody talks about it because a lot of people on youtube they make youtube videos they don't know what they're talking about i was going to say sorry they don't if you're going to put some information out there make sure that you are putting the right information for people and not telling the people something that you don't know about or don't mention it. This is very important. This is the one of the biggest problems that affiliate marketers fail because of this. So if you want to start affiliate marketing, and I encourage you so because you don't have to create a product, you can just promote other people's product. Of course, I covered it in a description as well. Must have correct autoresponder software. And I'm going to prove to you here in just a little bit, and I'm going to show you some examples. Not all email autoresponders are the same. Please understand this. This is so crucial to you and i'm going to show you here in just a little bit a lot of people fail but they just don't know why they don't know why they are failing number two is they are autoresponders unfriendly to affiliates and i'm going to show you some examples here there are three here i'm going to talk about mailchimp here just a little bit okay a lot of people they like mail chimp a lot of them they just go in there blindly and they open an account and so forth and they get excited and then later on they find out that things are not working very well i'm going to show you why so if you go to uh, mailchimp and you go under prohibited content right here and then you take a look at it it says affiliate marketing now sometimes you might not get caught the first time second time third time first week second week third week fourth maybe one month and then you get banned and they close your account without any notice you can't even access it at all so just make sure you understand this all right let's go ahead and move on here just a little bit and take a look about the second one now active campaign let's go ahead and talk about active campaign i'm talking about these are just like not the only ones i just want to make you to understand that these are just examples that i'm giving you so i'm just trying to show you there are some problems with some of the marketing that maybe some of you 
are actually practicing and wondering why things are not working. So let's go ahead and go to active campaign here. And if you take a look about uh, right here, uh, content uh, content and industry subject to additional scrutiny but uh, above it it says prohibited content okay so uh, one of them is affiliate marketing so want to make sure that you do that as a matter of fact i tested this and it was affiliate marketing i actually did that just to want to make sure that it does work well they closed the account uh, just because i want to tested before I give you any information out here I did that and they flagged it after a week or so not right away and then they closed the account down so we talked about MailChimp we talked about active campaign another form of autoresponder is called drip which is also an autoresponder so let's go ahead and take a look at drip here real quick and it says here a drip rules prohibited on drip okay and then you scroll down here to 3.2 and then you find out that affiliate marketing okay so even with drip affiliate marketing is frowned on prohibited and they have the right at their discretion to close any account they seem not according to the rules or policies that you might not actually see or maybe buried somewhere so understand this if you're an affiliate marketing you need to have an affiliate email marketing autoresponder that is friendly to affiliate marketing otherwise things are not really going to work out and i'm going to talk about that here in just a little bit and let you know which one that you should use and the other category that I want to talk about is that non-affiliate email marketing. Now, th there are some danger in that as well because a lot of people are, maybe you don't know, you're watching YouTube channels, you think everybody uh, know exactly what they're talking about. A lot of times I find that blind is leading the blind. So you need to understand this very well. Read their policy. Why am I saying that? Let's go ahead and take a look. The, so, because... A lot of times it's not straightforward. Sometimes you can find it under prohibited content. Sometimes you can find it under acceptable use policy. And sometimes you can find it under the terms of service, just like uh, uh, MailChimp. Now, let's take a look. Let's take another look here. Why am I saying non-affiliate email marketing? hey everything should be fine well not really i'm going to go ahead and show you if you go to uh, a drip for example let's go back and go to drip here and if you take a look it says even real estate <laughs> even real estate so if you are in a real estate business you're in jeopardy if you are using a drip autoresponder so some of them have different stuff uh for example i think uh, active campaign they have pills, drugs. Uh, they're not talking about illegal drugs, obviously. They're talking like diet pills and things like that. And uh, at the end, it says uh, other products or content. So what they're saying here is, what they're saying right here, if you read it, that they can decide to do anything they want to. Uh, you have no control over it. So make sure you understand that so you'll be able to know exactly what to do now what i'm going to do i'm going to give you some secrets here of what to do before i give you uh, which one that you should use i'm going to uh, give you some idea about how to ensure that your email get delivered so these are like uh, email delivery tricks a lot of people don't know much about it none of the videos that you watch probably don't have no clue about it so i'm going to go ahead and reveal that to you of course free of charge all i want you to do is subscribe drop a like make sure you share the video because when you share the video that means it tells me how many people are sharing the videos and if you are sharing the videos i can make more videos for you all right let's go ahead and go to number two uh to number uh, three here uh, section one the first thing when you send in this is a good 
a good good trick that you should do all the time there's an algorithm inside the email for example gmail what happens is that if you open a new account okay and people don't know much about you gmail has no clue microsoft or whatever you want to call the one that you are using, have nothing first thing the first email that you want to send out should have a question and the question is ask the question that requires a response from the prospect why is that because when they email you back gmail and other services know that this is not a an actual spam that person is communicating with you and writing something to you because they think if it's a, a spam they'll mark it as a spam or they delete it or something like that so the first one that you send out it doesn't matter what it is if you are in a it doesn't matter what industry if you are in a health industry for example lost weight tell them what is the biggest challenge that you have losing weight i'm going to send you free stuff they tell you oh this is the biggest challenge i have and you can send them something that will help them you don't don't try to sell them in the first email okay because what happens your algorithm right now is acceptable there's no complaints you're just asking a question so what happens is very simple email provider mark your email as non-spam email i'm not saying that this is going to be across the board but this is how it works because they said oh okay there's communication here that person opened the email the second thing what happened is that they responded to the email okay this is very 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 important number two a now you're gonna have some companies and most companies have this almost all of them they do have some templates i'm talking about email templates do not use them if you want your email especially if you are new to the industry if you want your email to be delivered if you are not walmart or amazon or something like that do not use these you're small because when you are sending this here's what's going to happen number one html email providers don't like that and then what happens it'll end up where in the spam box whether you like it or not it goes to the either spam box or promotional uh, area so or what they do is they don't deliver it at all because they have no history about you and they think that you are trying to do something that not you're not supposed to do so don't do that at all the second thing that you need to do is because of these what happens is that people think about it and they think it's a commercial well guess what most people don't like to be sold they don't like commercial because it looks like a commercial it is written like a commercial do not do that so the best thing that you need to do is deliver it in a very plain text all autoresponder have a plain text and do that just have a plain text and send the stuff as a plain text because not a whole lot of scrutiny about it. a lot of times you probably wonder and you see that you open an email and then they block all the images and you have to click on okay show me the images or i want to see the images it's okay why there's a reason behind it and the reason is that there are some people that they put malicious malware inside or inside their email html because it's much easier than plain text plain text is uh, nearly impossible to do that you cannot hide it i'm gonna put in the description area three emails that we have tested and they are friendly toward affiliate marketers so they are friendly for everybody if they are friendly for affiliate marketing it's they're friendly for everybody else so these are the one that you should use we cannot check every single one there's thousands of them so we checked three i'm gonna go ahead and put them in the description area then if you want me to know if you want to know what is my favorite one and you want a demonstration let me know because everybody likes something different but for the sake of this video i'm gonna go ahead and put all three of them and they're all free to start and i get a lot of questions from people saying okay oh no i, I don't want to start email marketing i don't want to spend money on autoresponder if this is the issue with you you should not start at all because it's not going to work 
you have to have a really good autoresponder and autoresponders nowadays are the cheapest types of email that you can ever have so don't think that you are trying to save money you cannot be cheap on your way or in your journey to success there is no way you're going to be successful i hate to tell you this but this is the truth so again if you want to know which one is my favorite one and you want me to tell you exactly why it is and give you a demonstration about it let me know in the comment area below so i can make a video for it and show you why i like it i like it i like it because it does a whole lot of things much easier much faster and similar autoresponder to it cost hundreds of dollars per month so let me know in the comment area below so i can make a video for you if you want to know more about affiliate marketing click here if you want to know more about affiliate email marketing click here as usual i'll see you at the top